Let's go live to Jakarta, where the Prime Minister's received a ceremonial welcome at the palace there, the presidential palace, live to Trudy McIntosh in Jakarta. And a warm welcome, and very warm, I guess. It's, it's normally pretty hot in Jakarta, and the Prime Minister rode a, a push bike around the palace grounds. <laughs> Yeah, push back in a, a suit shirt, Kieran, is pretty bold for an Australian Prime Minister, but it was all pill power for him alongside the Indonesian President Joko Widodo. We're told this was an invitation from the Indonesian side for the bike ride to take place around uh, the grounds of the Bogor Palace, which is uh, just outside of Jakarta, where the Prime Minister has made his second visit since taking the top job. We've got some more details about this uh, Prime Ministerial bike ride. We can also see now the live pictures coming to you. This is from inside the palace. Joko Widodo alongside Anthony Albanese. They sat down face to face with their ministers in the last hour. This is some remarks being given to the cameras after that meeting. The Indonesian president, as you can expect, this is coming uh, from the palace live stream. This is being uh, spoken in the native language. We are expecting, though, to hear as well from Prime Minister Anthony Albanese briefly for some remarks to camera. We will have a full press conference from him at 5.30pm Sydney time, so stay tuned for that. As for what else is on the agenda, we saw that bike ride, as I say. Back to the details of that. We're told now that Anthony Albanese has been gifted one of these bamboo bikes from Jokowi, so he'll be able to take that back with him on the RAF plane all the way back to Australia as a memento of this bike ride they had around the palace grounds. In terms of the, the substance of this visit, Anthony Albanese saying this is about trying to strengthen and renew ties with one of Australia's nearest neighbours. And a big one at that, Indonesia with a booming population of over 270 million people. A lot of Prime Ministers in recent years have spoken about the need to strengthen ties and boost and economic cooperation, but it hasn't really been fully materialised, even though at the moment there is a comprehensive strategic partnership that was inked in the former government. Anthony Albanese and his new team believe they can go further in strengthening the economic ties, the people-to-people -people ties as well. So that is all part of this charm offensive we're seeing in the next day and a half here on the ground in Indonesia. Anthony Albanese not alone, Kieran, he's flanked by senior cabinet colleagues, including the Foreign Minister Penny Wong, also the Industry Minister Ed Husick and the Trade Minister Don Farrell. And security tensions in the uh, region, obviously, front of mind. I, I spoke to Richard Miles about it down at uh, Defence Headquarters here in Canberra today. Uh, and ASEAN, ASEAN, Southeast mm. Asia more broadly, Indonesia specifically um, is a focus for the government wanting to mm. build and, and strengthen those ties with Jakarta. The Prime Minister has made it clear from day one since taking this job that he wants to reintroduce himself to Australia's neighbours. We saw that almost immediately from the Foreign Minister, Penny Wong, heading to the Pacific and trying to um, renew and strengthen ties there with our Pacific family, given at the same time China's Foreign Minister, Wang Yi, was also on his own rival blitz through that region, trying to ink security deals of his own. Here in Southeast Asia, the Albanese government putting a very strong prominence not only on Indonesia but, as you say, on ASEAN. There is going to be a meeting with Prime Minister Albanese and the Secretary-General of ASEAN here in Jakarta this afternoon before we do see that press conference. Regional tensions with China are always a focus on these sorts of visits. Indonesia has made it clear that they want to not have to pick sides in this great power rivalry between the United States and China. Whether they will eventually have to remains to be seen. Here's Penny Wong, though. She sat down last night with um, her counterpart, Retno Masudi, and they spoke in particular about uh, the relationship potentially with China. Indonesia is a very important partner for Australia, a very important neighbour. It's critical to our security. We share a region and our futures are tied to the regions we share. So it was very important to meet with her. So we will see this conclude at the Presidential Palace shortly and then, as I say, we're going to have a press conference with Mr Albanese and his Cabinet colleagues here in Jakarta. Tomorrow, Kieran, they're going to be going to Makassar. It's on the southern part of Sulawesi. The point of that trip, we're told, is to show that Australia has an understanding that it's not just Jakarta and Bali when you think of Indonesia. This is a massive country, one of extreme importance to Australia, given geography and also the close ties. It certainly is a huge uh, archipelago. Trudy McIntosh, thank you for that.